name is Chris Kamen. I'm the owner of Classic Guitars International. And uh, what I do is I uh, represent the finest builders, luthiers in the world, many of whom have 20 to 30 year waiting lists for their guitars. Um, and I represent them around the globe. Uh, these are all handmade classical and flamenco nylon string guitars only. And they're made one at a time by hand. Um, they're often quite expensive and very delicate, and uh, they're very highly prized by the people who love them, so this is a wonderful business that I enjoy very much. Well, as I mentioned, the guitars that um, I'm lucky enough to work with are very, very delicate. They're made of uh, highly prized woods, one at a time. It takes about a month to make each one of these guitars. People wait as long as 20 years to get one, and you can imagine how precious they are. So uh, shipping them, is something that we all worry about. Um, prior to um, Santa Barbara Pack and Post, uh, I used the same store, uh, but under a previous owner. And I have to say my experience there was uh, not ideal. Uh, I was having difficulty having the sometimes complicated forms required for exportation and importation uh, to be completed properly. Um, I sometimes didn't have directions followed correctly, um, which are very specific about where a guitar can go and when. And um, There was also a, a sort of an attitude of, it's good enough. And uh, I think that uh, the business owner at the time was probably not a professional in, in that industry, probably didn't have a passion for what he was doing, and it was reflected in the business. It was. Uh, to the point where I was thinking of possibly looking for a new shipper. Um, now the business had a, a, a vivacity to it, uh, an attention to detail, a willingness to please uh, that simply wasn't there before and um, that encouraged me so I thought I would try the business a little bit um, longer and see if the new owner uh, would bring something to the table that made a difference and in fact it did. Uh, there were a lot of changes that I noticed there. Uh, they were eager not just willing but eager to to tackle the sometimes complicated paperwork that goes with shipping an exotic a guitar with exotic woods in it. Um, they, they handled the exportation to foreign countries, uh, filling out all the paperwork. Uh, I, didn't, I no longer had to do that myself. As a sole proprietor, I'm a single owner, I do everything in my business, so time is very valuable to me. The fact that I didn't have to spend time doing all of these things was huge. I could simply drop a guitar off and know with confidence that it would be taken care of, the paperwork would be taken care of, the shipment would occur on time, and everything would flow, and a guitar would arrive there safely. So I very much appreciated um, the new ownership, and I, I've been there ever since. One example of how uh, I found them going above and beyond um, was I, I had a guitar, uh, two guitars, and I inadvertently had m it mixed them up and put the wrong labels on the wrong uh, guitar. And so these very expensive, very exotic, very hard to get guitars were headed to the wrong parts of the world. Um, I didn't realize this until the guitars were already on the FedEx trucks and on their way to the main processing center. Uh, I went into a panic and I called Santa Barbara Pack and Post and I, I relayed this to them and asked them if there was anything they could do. And uh, they told me not to worry and, uh, and they would take care of it. And somehow, miraculously, they were able to contact the drivers of the truck. The driver stopped his entire route, went out of his way, returned to Pack and Post, met me there. I was able to swap the paperwork. He then took the, the guitars away, and they, they got to the proper location. And uh, that was huge for me. That was huge for me. It could have been a, a major a nightmare. So I was very, very impressed with, with that.